Hello, Internet. This is E. Schrodinger's Cat here with another episode of Builder's Dreams on the Escal85 Patreon server. What you are watching right now is the video footage of a clip which I had recorded with audio, but Adobe Premiere has decided, much like what happened with the Fullcraft episodes that I lost earlier, uh, to decide that it no it doesn't like the audio it doesn't want the audio the audio isn't nice enough and it wants to be a little bit of a, of a pain in my backside so what i'm doing is i am currently i'm sat in front of windows media player watching myself build and i'm talking over it because i feel it's such a long clip that i just i don't know how to re-record it <laughs> without just discarding i i don't know it's 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 a very strange feeling to be watching yourself do something and then doing commentary over it but basically what's going to be happening in this episode is the furniture garden that we did in the last episode as you see as i'm zooming over there i'm trying to make some point about how disconnected the parts of my base are from each other. See, I have this organic sort of feel over here, and then I have that more sleek, not really modern, but you know what I mean, kind of architecture, man-made stuff that's over on the other side. So I'm going to be trying to connect the two sides with a pathway that both uh, incorporates both kinds of styles and ties them in together. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm going to have this tiled, most, not really mosaic, but like just this arrange, disarrayed arrangement of tiles. And underneath, I'm going to be having this, you know, leaves and dirt and, and stuff that would be put in between the tiles to give it some color and, and all that. And instead of putting the tiles down and making them... Uh, painstakingly going through each of the cracks to fill in the colors uh, one by one, I'm putting down that layer first. And here I am deciding that grass, oop, there's a mistake, there, that grass is uh, not going to work and that I'm fill, fill, filling it in with uh, green concrete and boy I hope these two things are synced up because if they're not it's going to be super weird. But here I come through, mixing in more of the um, more of the concrete, and uh, I'm trying to create the effect of there's been a little bit of plant growth, but also in between that plant growth, it's there's some dead stuff, some dead leaves, some some dirt that you know it, it it's it's suspended up between rocks, so you can't really get a whole lot of good grass coverage in there. So you got this mix of podzol and dirt and the little bits of grass that can grow between each of the individual tiles. And uh, eventually, one of these days, oh, uh, gonna come through here and gonna put back the stone on top of it. Yeah, there you go, messing up, messing up with the bit controls. So I'm filling up the stone and I'm gonna carve away various different, um, tiles from that once I get the stone all carved out and I'm painstakingly filling out this whole thing on camera because that's how I roll. I like to roll by painstakingly filling out things on camera. So here I am. I'm sure I'm saying something very enthralling and passionate and full of wisdom and insight as I fly around this stone thing in the original video clip, but unfortunately all of that is lost to time. Let's, let us have a moment of silence for the wisdom that I'm sure humanity will never be able to move forward without. Amen. All right, so I've started to define some tiles, and what, you, can, you can see that I'm going for I don't want them to be grid-like, I want them to be different sizes, and I want them to be different different shapes and I started out with two bit levels uh, two bit 
wide level of stone on top, and then at some point during the next, the deaths, there we are. I'm bringing it down to one level above the grass and podzol because I felt like there was too much of a big shadow and big bulkiness of the tiles, and I wanted them to be more thin and and nice and smooth and, and classy looking as opposed to big and bulky and, and I don't know. So I, I, I think that's going to be about it for this segment. Yeah, it's almost over, so I'm going to skip to the segment which is actually properly recorded, which Premiere decided it does want to have the audio for. Look at these shaders. These are nice. These are the Mr. Meeps medium shaders that I found, and I really like them. They are nice. They're subtle, I think, as far as shaders go. I mean, they're obviously not subtle as far as Minecraft goes, but they are as far as, you know, some shaders. If I set the time today, time set, so 2000, you see that the sun is not blaringly bright, and... I don't know. I, I I like them. You'll you'll have to let me know if you hate the fact that I'm using shaders because I'm going to be using them when I play. So I don't know. I I, I if y'all really hate it, I guess I can turn it off for when I record segments. But uh, basically, I've done work here and I came up with these paths here. I finished up this path here with I, I, I replaced the stone with brown stone, added these little lights, thickened this corn or, or added this actually this wasn't here at all the last time I was recording. Um, changed this to concrete, mixed in the other concrete to make that splash, and surrounded it with leaves. And I think that's looking good. I created these floating islands here, another kind of fantasy element to it, and I, I like them over the path here to this kind of dock, it's not really a dock because it's, you know, several meters in, in the sky, but, you know, <laughs> it it's somewhere for it to go, and I think I'm going to have, like, um, some sort of, I, I think, powerhouse, maybe, or... or something big here, maybe even an extension that goes up around this building, but this platform's gonna be extended either via a building or via a platform to this road so that this will all be connected. And ooh boy, look at this. This looks so good with the shaders. It just looks so good. Hold on, time set. Let's go back to 2000. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Oh my god. I hope you guys don't hate this because it looks so good. I see you. Thought you could get a fast one by me, but I caught ya. So I think what I want to do right now is add some of those puffball reed plants that you can find in some... Dr. Seuss-like stories. You get those ones with the the tall stems, and then on top they have this, like, fuzzy little colorful thing. And so I'm making the stem here, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm off camera, I'm going to uh, chisel this down and get it to probably an eighth block or maybe even a sixteenth block scale. And... That looks about the right size that I want to do, and then I have these uh, colors here, and these these are actually glowing blocks, so they'll have the benefit of being glowy and lighting stuff up. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and come out like this. Like I'm gonna do individual little strands coming out like this and hopefully that will give us the appearance of something that is puffy. Let's see if I can come up. It's a little difficult to do on camera because it's going to involve a lot of trial and error, but I think I can get it 
Oh boy, that's looking so strange. It's not. <laughs> it's not what I envisioned this looking like. But I'm just gonna keep going. Like I said before, sometimes you need to just fill everything out, and then once it's filled in, you can make changes as you need to. It's looking. I mean, it might not come out exactly like I envisioned as often does, which is why a lot of times I don't plan very well my builds, and I probably should, but, you know, honestly, when I make plans, they don't come to fruition because I get distracted and, and change them and, and all that, so planning is something that Sometimes it helps, some people it helps, some people it doesn't. I, I've always been frustrated. I mean, I've heard a lot of artists talk about proper planning and preparation and all that from uh, Minecraft to regular drawing to animation and, and stuff like that. And they always talk about how it's really important to plan what you're going to do before you do it. And they're right for, I think, most of the case, most of the time, I think they're right, that for most people it helps, but for me, whenever I try to do those things, I always get so, so fixated on trying to stick to the idea that I had at the start, instead of following the natural progression of the way that art wants to be like when I get a concrete plan and I, and I have to really stick to it I kind of lose track of what looks good in favor of this image that I have in my head that may not actually be worth uh, pursuing like you know sometimes things don't look as good as they do in real life as they do in your head and I just, I don't know. I've found, like, back when I used to do a lot of portrait drawing, uh, they would always tell you, okay, you gotta, you gotta map out the little proportions of the face. You gotta make a circle, and then you, you gotta divide it down to where the, to the lines where the eyes go, and then you gotta break it down to the proportions of where the nose goes. And I, I just, I always just felt like it was a waste of my energy like yeah maybe my face would this face that i was drawing might come out more realistically proportioned but on the other hand if i just went with the way that my pen strokes took me then i would come out with something that may not necessarily be entirely accurate to reality but my energy is going to go to creating something that is artistic and not, like, I, instead of concentrating on proportions and, and all that, I can concentrate on the more creative aspect of of drawing, like the colors and the, I don't know, maybe there's some weird lumpiness to, to this face that I'm drawing that under normal circumstances would look super weird, but hey, what can I do with that? And it, it tends to make for more unique things and it makes for a more enjoyable artistic experience when you just you just go with with what you're you just go with the way that your hands and your your mind are starting to develop something. You just gotta trust that if you keep pursuing something that it will eventually turn into either something great or something that you can learn from. Anyway, I'm going to keep uh, messing with this thing. I think I'm liking how that looks. I'm gonna keep messing with this thing off camera and I'll go back to you. As the sun rises above the mountains, you can see that I got some more of these fluffs in. They didn't quite turn out to be exactly what I envisioned them, but 
I like how they came come out. I got this blue one in here too. I like this one. I added these sort of stripes, like um, almost like candy cane style circle spiral stripes coming up the stem here because I took inspiration from uh, some pictures from Dr. Seuss where they have those the, the puff things and then they have just have these stripes on the side. So I did that. It's just different different shades. I added these little tiny flowers and this leaves and stuff going. I, it was the same kind of stuff I had over here but I added a few more tones to it and I brought it over here in a little bit of a smaller scale so that I don't overtake the uh, flowers. And I think that is that area pretty much complete. Problem, my problem at this point is that I, <laughs> I've been working for two days now and I only have about 14 minutes of video footage. So I kind of have to work on something, a bunch of different things that are completely disjointed and all that. So I am going to, I think what I'm going to do is, no, nope, that's the wrong menu. So I'm going to try and, uh, make this area a little bit more uh, less shitty. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this uh, the uh, detail that was over here with the splash splatter. I'm going to bring that over but I don't think I'm going to do that right now because this is a big area and it's going to take a long time. So one thing that I'm going to try and do is I'm going to bring in gonna bring in some leaves like this like fully looks kind of over there like over there too and I guess it's sort of following the same style or foliage that's kind of going out throughout the whole build but I am gonna have it up here like it was washed away up the sea and I think what I'm also gonna do is maybe bring it down like here like roots and stuff to get like cuz I mean this water over here uh, as opposed to that over there is very flowing and running and flowing and all that stuff but over here because of just the how it is there's this little space in here you're gonna have an eddy sort of effect where you're gonna have water that's very still and so plants and all that kind of life forms and such can come through and start to live in this still water, not disrupted by any sorts of manners of flowing liquids and physics shenanigans and, and all that such server. Server. There we go. So that I think that's a good that's a good start to it. Um have this be like ivy creeping up the walls and that, that'll make it look a little bit different from the way that the leaves look over on there because this is going to be climbing like vines as opposed to just everywhere and I can add some of this over here what I'm probably going to do is add more of that mud along here as well but I think I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I'm gonna do it with the with the way that the brown clay is now, or whether I want to just sort of make it more planned. Or I don't know. There's there's a lot of decisions about this lake that I have yet to make. I think I'm gonna bring some of it out here like this, and then bring it down so like it's hanging below the water like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. You can bring it down like that. And another thing that I can do is if I find a nice old little, little bit of a green, let's try this green and this green. Yay, green. Is I can come here and I can define a circle, quick fancy on camera circle for your fancy on camera needs uh, right here and I think what I'm what I'm trying to make right now is a lily pad because that's another thing that shows up and I think uh, actually I think that's that's gonna be a size that's all right I think we can have small lily pads and we can have the big lily pads we'll probably have 
one or two this size and then when it gets to and then just have a little little ones in, in, in between and it's gonna we're not gonna be able to have them all over the place because they are this is after all moving water and moving water does not necessarily make for the best location for lily pads so we're only going to be having them in these little eddy kind of parts here what i'm doing is i'm adding a um a little out a little highlight outline i don't know if actual lily pads actually have stuff like this but it, it it just gives it some detail and then i could come through here and i can add little specks and spots and and maybe sort of blend this to a 16th block scale instead of the 8th block scale that the outline or the actual physical shape of it is because one one trick you can do if you're looking to add uh, detail in the form of gradation and, and color and shading is you make your shading and your color be at a different block sc bit scale than the rest of your thing. So this, the shading here, it looks like shading because it's at a smaller scale than the actual physical form of the lily pad, which is at a um, 16 to eight, which is at an eighth block scale there we go and we can add some smaller ones here and it'll be a little bit more difficult to get the the um and, and i guess it would probably make it easier if i did this at a uh at a smaller scale but that's something that i can't really do off on camera and my whole goal is to get video footage so you can actually have a video to watch yay hooray for actually watching a video and not two minutes of here the one i did while you were away while i was busy doing having all the fun while you were they're sitting in the no fun corner. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I think this area is looking cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to do stuff like this over here and over there. And I think I'm, I think I'm going to just do that between episodes because I think I have enough video at this point. Man, this is super unprofessional, isn't it? Man, I have still not got the hang of this, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there, folks. I'm getting there one one step at a time, one small step for YouTube, one enormous step for uh, some other metaphor for which will provide you humor. And I should just say, before I ramble on to in unintelligibly that I will say to you good day internet this has been E Schrodinger's cat I hope you have a nice day <laughs>